now i will reopen the terminal once again and i will try git clone and my company repository link yeah let's see yeah uh, it worked now right now i'm inside personal folder and i have to open that in uh, terminal uh, sorry i have to open the terminal and write git clone and paste that link and press enter yeah uh let's see yeah it worked hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we're gonna show how we can use multiple github accounts in vs code so this is my uh, company github account and i have one more account that is for my personal work so like uh, whenever i need to switch between the account i have to go to control panel and i have to manually log out from my company account and i have to log in with uh, my personal account so i will show that to you how i will do first you just have to go to search and type control panel hit enter uh, here you have to select user account and then windows credentials uh, you can see that we have our github accounts so to log out we have to remove and again if you want to log in here you can't but you, you have to go to vs code and there when you're you pulling or pushing your uh, changes to git repository it will ask for login but it has any serious issue maybe you can you can consider it as a bug but i don't know uh, what is uh, the issue is like uh, if i tell you you won't understand it i, I will show that in the code uh, see that this is my company account recently i have added commits the first commit is by me the second and third and fourth commits are by my personal account actually it should not happen because this is a private repository but still uh, from my personal account i could able to commit uh, some of the changes to this company account why this is happening because you might have noticed when you first time logged into a github account in vs code it will ask you to enter your email address and username for the first time okay so you will never gonna change that so whenever you remove account in uh, uh, windows credential manager management whatever it is so you will not uh, change that uh, email and username okay uh, this is an serious issue if your company people find out uh, about this thing uh, you will be in a serious trouble so we have to avoid this log login and log out thing okay we have to handle multiple github accounts using ssh keys while dealing with SSH key, we have to maintain uh, different folders like personal and company. And if you have one more account, you have to create one more folder for that. It is not mandatory, but it is the easiest way to do. And I, I will show you that in a minute. Uh, now you just have to open git bash or you can use uh, terminal. But Windows people have to use git bash. Mac people can use your terminal because uh, it is Linux based. So uh, it works same as uh, git bash. So now here I am opening git bash and the first thing that we have to uh, cd into dot ssh folder so i will use a cd command for that and the next step is we have to check whether there is there any ssh key present in this folder so for that we have to use ls command uh, you can see that there is no uh, ssh key already present so what we have to do is we have to create one so we have to use ssh key gen and next follow the following that uh, alphanumeric uh, key and then give your personal email account and also your personal uh, github username and we don't pass any passphrase or uh, you just have to enter again enter yeah now ssh key is generated now we have to do the same thing for our company account Now we have successfully generated the SSH keys. Now we have to add these SSH keys into SSH agents. Before that, we have to start SSH agent. For that, uh, we have one command. Uh, you just have to copy paste the command. Actually, uh, I have already created a blog and I will leave its uh, link in the description. You just go through it and you just copy paste the thing. So now we started the SSH agent and it's like agent process ID is 2095. And now we have to add our SSH key to SSH agent. So before that, uh, I will show show my blog and I will copy the required commands from there. Uh, you can see that uh, you have step by step instructions. We have already uh, generated the SSH key and started the SSH agent. You can use this command to start. And now next next is like we have to add SSH key to SSH agent. So for that, we have to use SSH uh, add command. I have copied my command and I will paste it here. So you can see that SSH add and dot SSH is a directory. And uh, there, what we have to do is right now I will write my uh, personal uh, username because uh, while creating a key we have given this name so it is identified identity is added now and uh, same thing for my company account so hxtyt the same name it is the same name i given 
while creating the search key next step is like add in public search key to github so you have to go to github settings and keys and you have to click on new keys and you have to add so i will, I will show that uh, before that we have to open the uh, dot profile in our vs code just now i have copied the uh, uh, code command that and code uh, then dot sh and add that your like first i will add uh, my personal account so hypermona dot pub so it will contain my sh keys so i have to open uh, now press ctrl a and ctrl c to copy and go to personal account and open settings click on the open settings and here you have to go to sh keys and from there you have to add new key actually i have already have one key here i have to give appropriate name so name actually used to identify uh, individual keys so i added something then you have to paste your code here yeah now we have successfully added our personal sh key to personal github account and we have to do the same thing to uh, public github account uh, we have to copy the public sh key and we have to paste it in the public account so i'm gonna fast forward that step Uh, in the next step uh, we have to create a config file and we have to open that config file in the vs code so let's create one now i'm gonna open that in uh, vs code code space config now just copy paste this content to inside that file uh, here you have to replace that personal github account with your actual personal github account so i'm gonna do that here So now in the next step we have to create uh, three files before that we have to cd into root directory once you're inside root directory you need to create three files one is dot git config one more is dot git config dot company and the last one is dot git config dot personal so these three files you need to create i uh, will just fast follow the steps uh, once you're done with creating uh, you need to open this in vs code it's taking time to open in the meantime i will go and uh, copy the required code from my blog uh, just copy it and go to VS Code and uh, replace if is there any existing content is replace it with the code you, co code you copied and here the link we have to uh, change for that uh, I have created a two folders personal and company in my desktop uh, you can have as many folders you want so uh, now for my uh, personal work uh, all the uh, my repository will be stored in my personal folder and all the uh, repositories related to company it will be stored in company folders right now I will copy the link and now go to dot git config file and uh, paste the link you have copied and uh, actually we have to change the black slash to forward slash because uh, this is uh, what the what we follow in the Linux based system so we have to change that one i will change one by one actually i made a mistake i supposed to copy the personal uh, folders link but i copied company folders link okay i will change here only and i will copy paste the same thing and yeah also make sure you didn't misspell anything because it will uh, those kind of errors is very like difficult to track so make sure you have spelled it properly and uh, next step is like uh, we have to also edit this git config dot company and uh, dot git config dot personal these two files we have to edit so the contents are there in the blog you just have to copy paste and replace the usernames i go to blog and uh, copy this thing and go to vs code again paste it here and now we have to change your username here uh, i will remove this comment first uh, i have to change my uh, email address and then name and then my username okay so yeah we'll do that Now we have to do the same thing for uh, dot git config dot personal. So I will just fast forward the steps. Yeah, now we are done with all the steps. Now we just have to try uh, cloning git repositories from personal and company accounts. I will first try with the company account. Uh, now we have to select SSH and copy, not HTTPS. SSH and then copy. And you have to go to company folder. It will only work inside company folder and here uh, i have to open terminal let me open terminal yeah open windows terminal 
and here you have to write git clone and paste that uh, link you uh, copied and okay so we are getting some error it is telling like there is an uh, it is not there in known known hostess okay add correct keys in known hostess actually uh, the, uh this error is uh, how we can solve is that we have to go to dot sh and we have to delete the known hostess so uh, let's try that step uh, right now I am in dot sh folder and here I have to list all the files you can see there's there is a file called known hostess so I have to remove so rm and known hostess I write the name and press enter now yeah we removed that file now I will reopen the terminal once again and I will try git clone and my company repository link yeah let's see yeah uh, it worked now so you can see that we've uh, downloaded that one now let's try uh, cloning one repository from personal github account so go to sh copy that code and you have to go to personal folder right now i'm inside personal folder and i have to open that in uh, terminal oh, sorry i have to open the terminal and write clone and paste that link and press enter yeah uh you see yeah it worked yeah in case if you're getting any any error like you don't have access that means uh, you might be in the wrong folder you have to go to uh, correct folder if you're copying it from company github account you have to be inside company like uh, company folder if you're copying it from personal github account you should be inside personal folder so also make sure that uh, you have uh, followed all the steps properly and didn't misspell any words okay that also might give you error so yeah uh, just follow just go through this blog and let me know if you face any error or issue uh, let me know in the comment you can write that comment in blog or in the youtube channel yeah if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel also follow me on uh, medium and yeah like and share this uh, video and uh, blog with your friends and also with your colleagues thank you